calling you a radical. We finally got some news on the Big Z, the biggest nuclear reactor in Europe. He gave a press conference in Kiev today, the plant manager, and said there's 500 troops that are in there and occupied it. And they're trying to force Ukrainians to buy their own power back. And he said he's, they've done everything reaching out to the IAEA. And they refuse to do anything and help. Um, you know, as I protest in Vienna at the IAEA so many times, I knew Amano, I used to talk to him. Remember, he went to Fukushima, Japan, died shortly thereafter of cancer, but so they're getting nowhere. So it's occupied. I mean, it's such a dangerous situation. No media. This is the first I found. He gave a press conference to Dan Keeve. So he says, there's 500, and he says, they fired on plant employees. You know, it sounds like it's pretty mosh over there as far as the Russian soldiers. I mean, well, think about them in Chernobyl. They were digging trenches and sleeping in them. I mean... The whole thing is insanity. You're talking the biggest supply of uranium-235 maybe in the world. One of them in the world. You know, they have above ground storage there. I mean, the whole thing is insanity. And the world community, we suck up all this money. And then, you know, when it comes time we need them, nothing. The IA, same old, you know, so... I don't know, it's a very scary, dangerous situation. I'm trying, you know, everything I can. But, I mean, our resources are just completely dried up. I mean, in all acts of the grassroots anti-nuclear activists, you know, with or without you, I keep trying. So, it's a scary situation over there. Very scary. He says 500 Russian troops that haven't occupied, and it sounds like that the Ukrainian staff is still running the facility but Russia's saying it's theirs but this is the first news we've got in a long time so I'll you know we'll keep working this but just the biggest sugar wars last wars 